Always on the facts. TM facts. We sipping tea too. <laughs> yes, in need. Yes, indeed. What we sipping on, Auntie Fee? Huh? Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, 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 indeed, we step in tea. So listen, I was scrolling through, scrolling, ain't that what they say at Memphis? Scrolling? Oh, you want me to say it like a strolling through? Ha! <laughs> We, I was scrolling through, and uh, I said 15 people have been indicted as a result of a multi-agency investigation into a drug distribution conspiracy. A conspiracy? Another one? Why you whispering, Auntie V? It was supposed to be a secret. <laughs> they let the wrong person know. <laughs> Pagans. MC East Coast. Led locally by members of an outlaw motorcycle gang. You lying to me. Who who tapped him? Tennessee. <laughs> Woo, yes indeed, yes, yes indeed. <laughs> yes indeed. It's coming all together. It's coming all together. It's coming all together. It's coming all together. Yes, indeed. One by one. One by one. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Sister, you've been on my mind. Oh, sister. Pagans. Richard Baker. Knoxville. Didn't I just tell y'all that that man that high Archie in the F, the B, in the I went to Memphis, Nashville, and Knoxville. Had the picture of them line up of the collaboration into this multi agency. <laughs> Rico, they built it, huh? Knoxville. Dandridge, Knoxville. Strawberry Plains. Ooh, ooh. Sell, deliver. Ooh, ooh. Them plugs is getting popped, ain't they? Ooh, them plugs getting popped. That sound like that actress. That's her whole name, Jill Marie Jones. That was on, uh, she was from DeSoto, Duncanville. On girlfriends that do thick and thin, my girlfriend.
friend. Yeah. Mm. That's our nine. Now, I ain't looked these people up. I'm just here to show you how they moving here. Her, her recently. Her lately. Huh? Huh? Are y'all paying close attention to what's really happening? An ongoing investigation. Huh? Homeland Security. Bureau of Alcohol. Mm-hmm. Now, what did I tell y'all yesterday that that, that uh, guy that was in jail, that got out, that was supposed to have all them, that life sentence never get out? Uh, Rafa. Rafa Edmund. And then they said he working with the feds in Tennessee. Oh, okay. Stay woke. <laughs> now, so that means he connected with, I told y'all he was connected with the Blancos, but... If he coming out of the pen and he busted a whole, he helped them bust that whole uh, in in jail, in prison uh, drug sale in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So he tied to, it, it's colorblind, let me say that. It's not color stricken. It's equal opportunity snitching. Okay. <laughs> oh, this girl ain't gonna act right, is she? You know, some of these names just let me know that it's just not one color. Deidre Nicole Hood. Come on, y'all. I will be surprised if she is not, you know, you know. There's some mixed things going in here. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, hold on. Let's see what else is going on. I'm trying to see some last names if I recognize. I knew it was. Ain't surprised it's the Lewis in there. I tried to tell y'all yesterday. Them Lewis's, man, they all over the place in this drug game. Here go one. This is ongoing drug investigation in East Tennessee result in 13 indictments. I'm not sure if I talked about this one. Blunt in Knox County from Detroit, Michigan. Agent with the Memphis Bureau of Investigation. Also, that it is multi-states. They working with people in Michigan. Ooh, they getting deep. There go some... El Salvador's Maryville, mm -hmm. Knoxville again, Clark Humphreys, Humphrey, mm -hmm. Detroit, Rashawn Maurice. Mm -hmm. Y'all see what's going on? Hey, what's Tennessee Highway Patrol. Ooh, was they driving through? Partnered agency. Were they bringing it to Memphis? Ooh, yeah. Y'all see what's going on? Y'all see all of it? Judicial Task Force. Bureau of Investigation. All them districts. They on y'all ass. Lexington, Kentucky. Didn't I mention them yesterday? Didn't I mention Kentucky? <laughs> In FYI, just so you know, they have an undercover chat operation by the FBI agent trying to see who trying to lure them kids into trafficking. Okay, they have a special task force online in them chat rooms while y'all trying to pick up folk that y'all going to try to act like y'all know how old they are. Okay, 
Y'all remember me telling y'all it's something going on with that, that last name, Lewis. It's, it's something here and there and everywhere. Didn't I just mention that the other day, the day before, and then today? I just mentioned it. Then I come up on here and I said, mm, now the bond is set at $5 million for main event security guard charged with uh, unaliving another guard as case heads to the grand jury. Now, if y'all remember this, I said, why did he want that wand so bad? Who was he trying to get up in there? You know, what was really going on? That he killed him over the, the metal detector wand. So, with all these people getting in, out, out, and in, why is his $5 million? Stay woke. <laughs> All I'm saying is stay woke. Okay? And the breaking news happening in Cordova tonight is shooting between two security guards at the main event near Wolf Chase. And tonight, one of those guards is dead. Officers got the call around 7.15 tonight about yeah, the main event. Now it's five minutes. They say they found a man dead on the scene and detained the other guard. They say the bullets flew after a verbal altercation between the two men. And what's unclear tonight is if both guards were employed. And remember, I told y'all someone right with this. Even the family said someone right because this man done been to their house. That they dad and the husband uh, said that they had taken him to work and did favors and they was cool. And I was like, okay, so who he with? Who he with? Five million dollars. Uh, okay. Who is he affiliated with? Are y'all seeing what's happening? Oh, uh, okay. Because y'all remember I said something strange is going on with these police officers, their cars. Ever since that police officer car, or the cop car got stole, Zimmerman been on the loose. I said, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody is trying to get a, a uniform. I don't know what's going on, but he was fighting and arguing. He killed a man over that police wand. Okay. Where's Zimmerman? Oh, okay. Summer's going on with them Lewises. I'm telling you, every time you turn around, it's a Lewis. And before I go, I'll be back live later on, around 7, 6.37, if the Lord say the same. <laughs> but listen, Tunica, att attempted kidnapping, that trafficking stuff is real. Uh, Mississippi, so they trying to replace some of them people that done got arrested and picked up. Remember that girl that the cookie people got out? Uh, Plummer, Destiny Plummer. She had a little young tender thing that they rescued, so they trying to replace that uh, tender young thing. And so y'all keep be on the lookout and be mindful that they trying to snatch that pretty tender thing to replace them how the ones uh the girls had that got arrested yeah had them babies out there yeah they trying to find replacements for them stay woke y'all just don't assume that the neighborhoods are safe let's listen this morning the tunica county sheriff's office wants parents and students to be alert as they head out the door today. The Sheriff's Office is investigating an attempted kidnapping in the Dundee area on Wednesday evening. According to police, two men in a van approached a child there and tried to lure them into a van with candy. Take a look at your screen right now. This is the vehicle that they're looking for. Deputies tell us two men were a white older model van, the one you see in your screen right there. The men inside were said to have been wearing masks. If you have any information about this incident, were asked to call the Tunica County Sheriff's Office. I'll be back.
two men fighting over a woman in Frasier. Well, now, men, a man charged with killing a woman. It was a dispute with two men. And then they, somehow or another, the woman got killed. It's a reckless endangerment. Two counts. Second degree murder. 